Hello, welcome to In Studio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you create that wonderful candy floss effect, uh, that uh, blurred water effect when photographing waterfalls. Welcome to Canada and welcome to Montmorency Falls. You can see them just behind me. They are absolutely spectacular. And this presents a challenge for the, uh, the photographer because what we actually want to do with this is not freeze the water, but we want to get that lovely, smooth, candy floss effect with the, uh, the water coming down. So I'm going to explain how we do it. Well, the first stage is to take a test shot. Now I can do that just with the camera handheld. So I frame up, look at the scene, take a quick test shot and the camera is telling me that for ISO 50, I've put it down to 50 on my camera because I really want to get as slow a shutter speed as possible, that at f22 it's still going to be a 25th of a second. Now as you can see from the image that's just a little bit too fast and we're not getting that flow of the water in there. So the solution is to use neutral density filters. Now they fit inside a holder here. So I'm aiming for about a one second exposure. So I've got with me a set of filters, an ND8, which will remove uh, three stops of light and an ND2 which will, uh, sorry, an ND4 which will remove a further two stops of light. So I've put those in. Now from 25th of a second, let's do the maths on this. So we go down to a 12th approximately, a 6th, a 3rd, um, then another two stops, Oh, a third will be two thirds, so just over a second we're going to get with that. So I'll dial that into the camera. So we've got one second at f22 and ISO 50. Now I can't hand hold that, so I need to use the tripod. So I'm going to put it on tripod. <laughs> lock it firmly in place and now I can take my shot. Just check the framing on it, that will do nicely and a one second shot. A couple of other things to note about this is that I've taken image stabilization off because with a long exposure image stabilization will introduce blur into the image the next thing to, to comment about is where I'm taking the photographs from. For the purpose of this video, I'm doing it just a little bit away from where I actually want to take them because of the spray. What I'm trying to avoid is having the spray on the video camera because otherwise you're not going to be able to see me talking and see what I'm, uh, I'm referring to. I'm going a lot closer to the falls and I'm going to get wet. The camera's going to get wet, my equipment's going to get wet. So how do I do it and make sure I don't get those droplets on the, uh, on the viewfinder? Well, I have in my pocket, in a plastic bag, a lens cloth. So I will turn my back to the, uh, to the spray, I will clean the lens, I will put in Basically, it's a lens hood for the uh, filter holders. I'll put that in to help prevent more water getting onto the, uh, onto the lens, uh, onto the filters actually in front of the lens. And then when I'm ready to take the shot, just before I will move that out and then release the shutter. And hopefully the amount of moisture on the lens will be kept to an absolute minimum. So I'm going to finish this video now with a slideshow of some of the images I've created here at Montmorency. There'll be the, the candy floss images that I'm going to create now. There'll be some of the others of the area. So I hope you found this helpful.
now it's into the spray. I've taken the photographs I was planning to take. I just need to add an extra bit to the video. So I'm doing this on my uh, on my phone, just as a little uh, PS on the end of it. The, the technique I actually used for keeping the lens clear of spray was a bit different to what I described earlier. Uh, there was just too much spray there to uh, to do it that way. So what I did instead is I've got the my uh, trusty Carlsberg uh, mat, Carlsberg mat over the uh, over the camera. So what I was doing, I had that over there to both protect the camera and protect the lens. Then I would use my cloth, put my hand underneath, clean the lens that way. That kept all the all the spray off until I was ready to shoot. I got everything set up. As soon as I was ready, I had my finger on the shutter and I would just whip the cloth off and take the shot. And that's how I did it. So slightly different to how I described. Thought I'd just mention it in this uh, this little uh, extra video. Hope the sound works on this and on the previous one because of the roar of the waterfall. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my newsletter and keep making great photos. Bye bye.